was notified, I think it was in April, that I had been selected as the Poet Laureate. And um, <clears throat> they asked me to keep it quiet, and that was really hard. <laughs> so I was delighted when they made the announcement and I heard back from so many people. And it's always fun because old friends kind of resurface and, and chime in and say thank you, you know, congratulations. And you hear from people you haven't heard from for 20, 30 years. I grew up in a little town uh, called Napoleon, uh, North Dakota, very close to Bismarck. Music and storytelling were the two things that kind of kept me going creatively. I was kind of a dreamy, imaginative child. All of my girlfriends that I hung out with in high school, there were about six of us. We all left Napoleon and none of us ever went back. There was this idea that we were, we were bound for you know, all the exciting places of the world. Uh, there was nothing going on in my hometown. And I dropped out of college. I joined a really bad country western band, went on the road with them, and then my circle of touring got sort of bigger and bigger with every band that I joined, and a little bit more professional and, you know, a bit, a bit more serious. None of it was planned. <laughs> Everything in my life has happened by accident. <laughs> Finally, in '83, I came off the road when that band broke up, and I was and I and I kind of thought, oh, I'm I'm really bankrupt now. Not only like financially, but I'm bankrupt, you know, spiritually and physically. I was I was just really really worn out, and that's when I came back to Fargo Moorhead and um, went back to school and I thought, oh, poetry, you know, I'd sort of forgotten about it throughout the whole mess of lawsuits and traveling and being exhausted and fighting with band members and trying to hide what a catastrophe my life was from my parents. I'd sort of forgotten about poetry. And right around that time I saw an ad for um, a fellowship, a creative writing fellowship, and that's it here at Iowa State. And I applied for it and, and I got it. And that's what brought me to Iowa State. These were all books that were really important. And so I want to create a Poets in the Schools program and to try to get into some of this, the more remote and rural parts of the state that you know might not see writers coming in. And I'd like to take some students with me to go into, say, high schools, middle schools, possibly grade schools, and do some um, not only kind of maybe singer, songwriter, music performances, but also some creative writing workshops and things like that.